I've been acting and producing and directing television, God really started to, to just speak to me and I started questioning whether this was really bringing glory to God. Joel Gordon had achieved major motion picture success as an actor living in Toronto. It felt that God was pulling him in another direction. I really felt God saying to me, Joel, if you want to follow me, you have to follow me only. And there can't be room to walk even a degree off. I need you to walk down this straight and narrow path. And for me, that meant leaving acting behind. For me to give that up was, you know, probably one of the most difficult decisions that I had to make. Joel left acting without fully knowing what was next, or that halfway across Canada, a man named Ben Porter was going through his own life-changing situation. My wife and I got a call, and we found out that her youngest brother uh, hung himself, attempted suicide. It broke us. He, uh, he was in the hospital for about three and a half weeks, and it was in that time where God put us both in a place where Whatever he wanted to do, he could do. And begging God to show me what's next, he spoke. God gave Ben a vision to reach the youth of Canada and spoke one word that became Ben's mission. That word was love. And what's the hope for the 13-year-old or 14-year-old that's looking up to whatever pop star you know, out of Hollywood and what they're teaching them with uh, sex tapes and pornography and everything else. Through a series of coincidences, strange timing, and mutual acquaintances, Ben and Joel met and immediately they felt that God was up to something. And we connected and in, out of this willingness, out of this surrender, the love movement was born. The love movement seeks to empower Christian youth to live out their faith um, by a revived biblical understanding of love. And one of Ben's early prayers um, for us when, we, when we'd be praying about direction and, and moving forward with love movement was that God would shock and amaze. And God, I think, really delivered on that. With Joel's extensive background in media and their shared vision to reach and teach the youth, the two men got to work on a documentary that explored the subject of love. And so he set all these interviews up and that started when we really started to see God work. So people that we would generally not have access to, the doors are just blown wide open. So God just kept working in that way. just providing us with access to people and, and getting great interview content, which then uh, morphed into our, the curriculum that we have now, which is really the main focal piece of Love Movement. The curriculum is designed to engage and equip the next generation with hope, and its purpose is to define the word love in a way that our culture does not. A group does it, and it sort of helps them to dispel myths about what love truly is. And we then in the curriculum point them to what the word, what God's word has to say about what love truly is. And the, the last piece of the curriculum is that now that you know what love is, what are you gonna do with it? The whole concept of love has been hijacked by our culture. The overwhelming message is that love is about you. What if love is action driven? What if love is rooted in the person of, of Jesus Christ? that unity, that joy, that peace is so different than what the world has, what the world has to offer. When the message of love that Jesus spoke of and lived is received by a new generation, that is when love can truly change the world. If we could change what Wikipedia has written about love and for young people to know that they were a part en masse, young people all around the world came together to help add another paragraph in Wikipedia about what love truly is because it's about God and it's, it's rooted in who God is, that would be incredible.